Uh, hello, everyone. So uh, right now we will uh, introduce the topic of uh, how pesticides can be classified by their chemical makeup. My name is Zuhir Choudhury. So four major classes of pesticides and insecticides are derived from organic chemicals, and they are organophosphates or OPs, organocarbamates, also called carbamates, organochlorides, also known as organochlorines, and finally pyrethroids, which are derived from pyrethrins. Because they do not appear to persist in the environment, pesticides from the first group, which is the organophosphates group, um, are among uh, those that are chosen most widely for agricultural purposes. Yet at the same time, OPs are among the most common sources of pesticide poisoning. Similarly, another group of so-called non-persistent pesticides are the carbamates groups. Um, uh, although pesticides of the OP class are implicated frequently in fatal uh, poisoning incidents, carbamates are rarely a source of mortality from poisoning. Most of the pesticides from the third group, group organochlorines, have been banned in the U.S. because of their propensity propense because of their uh, likelihood to remain in the environment. So they stay in the environment for a very long time. The fourth group, pyrethrins, refer to an organic insecticide obtained naturally uh, from, uh, from natural sources. And uh, this pesticide is derived from natural sources, are also called botanicals, um, and uh, uh, mimicking this natural uh, pesticide uh, in the laboratory, um, we have been able to also synthesize um, um, chemicals that look alike, and these synthesized chemicals are known as parathroids. So we'll go into details one by one uh, for all of the four uh, different classification of pesticides. So starting off with organophosphates. So pesticides from the OP group appear in a wide variety of products, such as sprays, baits, indoor foggers and bombs, uh, flea collars, pet shampoos, powders, animal dips, and granules. The agricultural uses of organophosphates are for control of insect pests on crops in fields, orchards, and vegetable plots. Non-agricultural uses include control of insects in homes, offices, and outdoor. For example, OP pesticides are used for mosquito and termite abatement. Uh, one example of organophosphate is malathion, uh, which is approved for direct application to food crops, such as fruits in apples and grapes, um, raw crops, as well as vegetables, such as tomatoes. The popularities of organophosphate pesticides arises from the facts that they are one, inexpensive in comparison to alternatives, two, can be used to control a wide range of insects, thus eliminating the need for multiple applications of different pesticides, three, have not been weakened by the resistance of insects, and four, uh, 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 organophosphates tend to only persist in the environment for one to two week maximum, which is relatively shorter as compared to some other pesticides, especially organochlorines, which was the third group of chemicals. So how do organophosphates work in uh, controlling uh, pets, in uh, uh, pests? In here, you can see the mode of action uh, so organophosphate pesticides act on the nervous system of insects and higher organisms by disrupting the transmission of nerve impulses from uh, uh, one neuron to the other. This effect occurs when organophosphates reduce the ability of the enzyme cholinesterase, ACHE, uh, to regulate the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, or ACH, which aids in cell-to-cell -cell transfer of nerve impulses. In this chart, you can see exactly where OP uh, um, are acting in blocking the signal, um, uh, which essentially causes uh, the neurotransmitter to start overfiring. So health effects of organophosphates. Despite, despite the benefits that OP pesticides provide in control 
uh, in the control of damage by insects to food crops and in the abatement of insect vectors. They also uh, present several north of, north, noteworthy hazards. Two of these hazards are the potential for, uh, for harm to the persons who apply the pesticide, and more generally, the potential for harm to the entire population, particularly children. The extensive use of organophosphate pesticides uh, worldwide increases the likelihood of pesticide poisoning, especially in the developing world, and thus is a major concern for environmental health officials who work for public health departments and other environmental agencies. Organophosphates causes neurotoxic effects, um, and they can produce both acute effects and long-term effects. So acute effects, essentially nerves and muscles may become uncoordinated, producing respiratory paralysis and weaknesses. Neurological symptoms may also include seizures and, long, and loss of consciousness, um, including cramping of the abdominal area, uh, and in extreme cases, death also. Long-term effects, on the other hand, um, uh, occur when the exposure to organ phosphate pesticides occur for a long time and typically relatively low dosage for a long time. Um, um, and it leads to polyneuropathy, which is manifested by numbness, loss of sensory abilities and weakness. Clinicians believe that in most cases, this delayed form of neuropathy is irreversible. The second group of uh, um, pesticides are known as organocarbamates. Um, or carbamates, and these are close relatives of organophosphate pesticides. As is true of organophosphates, carbamates dissipate quickly from the environment as a result of breaking down into other substances. Farmers use carbamate-based pesticides as insecticides, fungicides, and herbicides. Some varieties are also in use around the home, an example being the carbamate insecticide Carbil, which is known by its trade name, uh, Savin, in here. You can see the picture, which is used to control garden pests, such as wasps, wasps, hornets, and snails, and is an ingredient in some products applied to furry pets to control ticks and fleas. Uh, the third group of uh, uh, pesticides are known as organochlorides. Um, and these are derived from chlorinated hydrocarbons, which is a genetic term given to compounds containing chlorine, carbon, and hydrogen. Organochlorines include a wide range of chemicals that contain carbon, chlorine, sometimes several other chemicals as well. A range of organochlorine uh, compounds have been produced, including many herbicides, insecticides, fungicides, as well as industrial chemicals, such as polychlorinated biphenyls or PCBs. The compounds uh, under this group are uh, characteristically stable. So they last in the environment for a very long time. They are fat soluble. That means they accumulate in fatty tissues of animals and humans, and uh, they bioaccumulate, which means it, they start accumulating in the body of animals and humans uh, through repeated exposure. Examples of organochlorine pesticides are DDT, linden, chlorodane, murex, hexachlorobenzene, uh, methoxychlor, uh, to name a few. <clears throat> so a metabolite of DDT is DDE, and DDE is formed when DDT is ingested. For example, fish convert DDT to DDE when they consume DDT uh, that is present in lower aquatic organisms in their habitat. In the US, widespread use of organochlorine pesticides uh, such as DDT began during the early 1940s and reached a maximum during the 1960s due to concerns about the possible adverse effects of DDT upon the health of humans and wildlife, application of DDT was prohibited in 1972 in the US. Although most developed nations around the globe at present do ban the use of DDT, some countries continue to use this pesticide, especially, especially developing countries, and they use it to stop malaria or mosquito uh, proliferation. The last group of pesticides is paraffins. 
Pyrethrin is an insecticide derived from natural sources, namely certain variety, varieties of chrysanthemum flowers. Pesticides from this group have great ability to paralyze and kill flying insects, although some insects may recover because of their own defensive detoxifying enzymes. The paralyzing action of pyrethrins occurs through interference with the transmission of neural impulses via action on sodium channels. On the right side of, uh, of the slide, you can see the extraction of pyrethrins from flowers, uh, which the flowers are showing here, and then the extraction process uh, of the pesticides. Um, so synthetically manufactured chemicals that have a composition similar to pyrethrins, which are the group of chemicals that I just introduced earlier, are called pyrethroids. Although more than 1,000 types of pyrethroids have been synthesized, only a few are in use as insecticides in the United States. The most common pyrethroid is permethrin with over 1 million pounds applied in the United States. Pyrethrin-based insecticides, um, having low concentrations of active ingredients, are used inside the home in aerosol cans, um, um, insect bombs, as well as insecticide pet shampoos, uh, and for treatment for lice applied directly to humans and in mosquito repellents. Uh, the, these pesticides degrade rapidly by the action of sunlight and are not very toxic when applied to humans. People may inhale these insecticides as a result of spraying and may also ingest them uh, when applied to food. In here, you can see this ortho brand um, 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 pesticide, which says three in one and uh, it contains uh, pyrethroids. So thank you for listening um, uh, and hope to see you soon. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you.